and welcome to the Orthodox View, where we discuss latest religious news from an Orthodox Christian perspective. I am its host, Philip Champion. Patriarch Bartholomew of Constantinople is in the United States. Earlier, he was placed in an American hospital, having become ill from overwork, according to doctors. Before the visit, the Patriarch gave an interview to the Cyprus newspaper Politica. In it, he drew attention to the fact that the Russian Church behaves ungratefully to Constantinople, which Christianized the Russians and made them civilized. In addition, Patriarch Bartholomew stated that he had information that it was under pressure that the Metropolitanate of Kiev was transferred to the jurisdiction of the Moscow Patriarchate by his predecessor Dionysius IV in the 17th century. Patrick Bartholomew did not, however, provide any specific data that would back up his claim. At the same time, the Russian Orthodox Church presented a collection of documents from four volumes confirming the unity of the Russian Orthodox Church and the Kiev Metropolia at the International Theological Conference in Moscow on September 17th. Church historians who prepared this work for publication emphasize that the act of transferring the Kiev Metropolitanate to the jurisdiction of the Moscow Patriarchate in 1686 was consolidated by a synodal decision of the Church of Constantinople and received immediate recognition by all local Orthodox churches. The documents confirm that even in the Church of Constantinople itself, the fact of transferring the Kiev Metropolitanate to the jurisdiction of the Russian Church had never been questioned. This is evidenced by numerous internal documents of Constantinople in which the Kiev Metropolitanate is mentioned among the departments of the Moscow Patriarchate. Translation of the divine services from Church Slavonic to Russian will not make the liturgical texts more understandable, says the head of the Department for External Church Relations of the Moscow Patriarchate, Metropolitan Hilarion of Volkhalamsk. He believes that if the parishioners of the Russian Orthodox Church do not know the Holy Scriptures, the Russian language will not help them. Simply translating 8th century Byzantine liturgical texts into Russian does not mean making the service understandable. Metropolitan Hilarion stressed that it is almost impossible to properly listen to a complex theological text even if it is translated from Church Slavonic into Russian. A serious attitude to reading the Holy Scriptures can correct the situation with people's understanding. I quote, Without knowing the Holy Scriptures, without knowing the Bible, without knowing not only the Gospel, but also the Old Testament, it is impossible to understand divine services. End of quote. During his visit to the United States, Patriarch Bartholomew met with the U.S. Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken. Blinken praised Patriarch Bartholomew for his role in upholding the firm principles of the U.S. government to protect the rights to religious freedom, both in foreign policy and at home. The Patriarch himself thanked the U.S. government for their continuing support of the See of Constantinople. Patriarch Bartholomew then met with the American President Joe Biden. According to Constantinople, the meeting was held in a very warm atmosphere. The Patriarch and Biden discussed the climate crisis and the topic of vaccination against COVID. They also paid special attention to the opening of the oldest theological school on the island of Halki, which was closed by the Turkish authorities in 1971. This is not the first time that Patriarch Bartholomew has turned to U.S. presidents for help. It was already Bill Clinton who had repeatedly promised his help in this problem. The American Congress even spoke about the assistance to the Patriarch of Constantinople in this matter. In 1997, the U.S. Congress passed a resolution that said, I quote, The Congress calls upon the United States to use its influence with the government of Turkey to guarantee the security of the ecumenical patriarchate in Istanbul and to reopen the theological school of Halki. Since then, the parties have made no progress on this issue. The Antiochian Orthodox Media Center has issued warnings on the page of the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate of Antioch in all the East against violent movies. Such movies are inflicting harm on children and entering them in a virtual world of violence, murder and hideous scenes. Netflix comes with a whole bunch of movies that the Antiochian Media Center warns against, such as Squid Game, Circle, The Platform, Tau, 
Red Lights, Level 16, Truth or Dare, and No Escape Room. International associations specialized in the protection of children warn parents against these movies because they encourage children to perform acts of violence and even murder. Eventually, awareness, follow-up, dialogue, prayer, live in the Bible, and the preservation of the spiritual life in the family remain among the highest and primary necessities in order to prevent, protect, and preserve the holiness of the human being. This is all for now. Thank you for your attention and see you next time on The Orthodox View.